Time now for the most ridiculous item of the day. Our pal Janet Jackson, a big fan of the factor, I may be overstating that, will not be happy to hear that the FCC has fined CBS more than a half million dollars for her, quote, wardrobe malfunction, unquote, at the Super Bowl. We have been very consistent in our analysis of this story. We believe Ms. Jackson made a huge mistake when she allowed CBS to broadcast her antics instead of coming here to the factor for a private showing. <laughs> Janet, with all due respect, that was ridiculous, and please don't let it happen again. Half a million bucks. Finally tonight, the mail. Before we get to that, one promotional announcement. This coming Sunday, Mike Wallace interviews me on 60 Minutes. I should have a clip to show you on that tomorrow on this broadcast. I may have to leave the country. We'll see. Dana Barnes, New York City. Bill, I was amazed to see your segment on a CBS News producer linking up with a man from the Kerry campaign. Considering how many Fox employees are working for the Bush campaign is in a bit of hypocrisy. As far as I know, Ms. Barnes, no one at this network, or CBS for that matter, is working for any political campaign. CNN is the only network where that is happening. By the way, if you cannot provide me with the names of said Fox employees, then you, madam, are spreading defamation. Clarence Smith, Indianapolis. Bill, your talking points about Iraq policy made no sense. You say Senator Kerry should distance himself from Kofi Annan because he's soft on terrorism, but didn't President Bush speak at the U.N. yesterday? Easy one, Mr. Smith. Speaking at the U.N. is no problem. Letting that body make policy about fighting terrorism, big problem. Louis Marone, Port Jefferson, New York. O'Reilly, your point about sticking it out in Iraq so the USA will not lose face is wrong. If we follow that logic, we'd still be in Vietnam loss of face or loss of lives. Nice going, Bill. You can take another sip of that Kool-Aid and listen up, Mr. Maroney. If we leave Iraq to the terrorists, they'll set up another Taliban state. It'll be just a matter of time till they come to Port Jefferson and get you.